Welcome, tarot lovers, to the card of the day, which is the reverse page of wands. So the pages being that youthful, innocent and childlike part of us, the part of us that is open to receive the element for the first time or in a new way, is that part of us that's open-minded, willing to embrace a new aspect of ourselves, willing to use some of our qualities in a new way, willing to explore, willing to adventure, willing to go and, and say yes to life in some way or another. The ones representing our, our passion and our purpose and our connection to the light, connection to our creativity, our sexuality, and in some levels our aggression. In, and on other levels, the light and the spirit world and all things metaphysical. And so all of those relationships tied into the ones create kind of an interesting message with this reverse page because when our inner child doesn't want to grab something, when, when that more innocent part of us that is less open or more fearful about stepping into the new, there may be a trauma, there may be a, a resistance, a denial to, to, to what the wands represents inside of us. And this is very simply, it could be like, oh no, I want to just be in the physical world. I remember my kids, you know, having having issues with me throw metaphysical ideas at them when they're coming home from school because none of their friends at school would know, understand what they're talking about and they didn't want you know they wanted more to relate to the world out there than to relate to me who they already relate to and and so they would they would you know they would poo 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 everything spiritual um, and in a way it's that that it's that childhood energy that that maybe just wants to get involved in the physical world and be more material in nature and I don't want to think about um, non physical reality which I can't even see I'm still trying to figure out how to work in the physical world which is much more important and and in a way totally it, it totally is. Um, so there could be this, you know, childlike denial and saying, no, I don't want to go there. I, I resist. I, I don't want to see anything that related to the ones, the creativity, the non, the non visible um, energy of life and spirituality of life that doesn't interest in me as much. I mean, this is not every kid's story, but this is quite often a story, especially when it, we, we rebel against something that our parents have brought, brought into our life in some way. There is in this card then um, a resistance to take responsibility and a resistance to own that wand and see what we can actually do with our creativity. The thing is with the wand is that when we grab it, we have a much stronger creative capability. And so it really means that we're asked to step up a little bit. We're asked to step into our purpose a little bit more. We're asked to like embody our mission more. And this is a bit scary because there does come responsibility issues. And sometimes we're, we, we want to remain ch children. Why? Because if we're children then we get other people giving us help for example we get mum and dad coming along and saying yeah I give you something because you're still a child and there might be a part of us that doesn't want to grow up on that level there could also be traumas around um, around sexuality there can be traumas around creativity and around aggression though there's a very fiery passionate element uh, if the passion of one of our caregivers was a little bit aggressive and a little bit abusive in nature, then we will naturally grow up with a fearful um, relationship towards fire, which can come out as us being over explosive and volcanically aggressive in one way uh, that sometimes, or it could be that we repress it so much we become, a, 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 you know, we, we just suffer from apathy and we lack of motivation and a lack of passion in life. This can also be what this uh, page is speaking about. Um, another thing that the reverse cards do is, or speak about, uh, especially in, in the court, is where the ego wants to identify with that element. And so this, it can be that we're just denying the whole spiritual world and the whole light and, and this energetical and vibrational reality that we're living in. Or it can also be that 
we experience that wand and we grab it and we go, oh, <laughs> look at that. Look what I've got. Look how special I am. And the ego grabs it and wants to become even more special and thinks automatically, wow, this can be a ticket to me being better than other people. Yeah, and so we, we hold that wand and we go, hey, we wave it around and we go, look how clever and smart I am. And this is the birth of arrogance. And this is the beginning of, of <clears throat> this, this more sort of fiery cockiness that, can, that definitely comes in with the suit of wands and definitely all of the, all of the shadow suit. And when the ego uh, holds on to this passion, then it will naturally be the birth of fanaticism as well, you know, where that inner child is like so excited and they're running around going, yes, look at this truth. This is true. That's true. Whatever. We've just discovered this new truth. It's fantastic. Let's, um, you know, let, let's feel good about ourselves because of it. There's nothing wrong with this, but it's one of the pitfalls or one of the traps of, the, of the, uh, that innocent child when they first grab something, that they'll use it in order, in a, maybe in a way which is not supposed to be used for if they're not being guided in the use of their creativity, their sexuality, their passion and their aggression. And so these are the stories, uh, these are some of the stories that come up with this card and um, some of the ones to look into and question yourself about and if any of these resonate then great journal about it dive into it ask yourself a few deeper questions about it so that you can come to terms with why i have this program and where where it might where it might be sourced just so that the mind can comprehend it then allow yourself to feel the real passion the real purpose the real the real identity and the way you can work with your fire instead of having your fire attached to your individual ego and trying to make you different and special and separate from the world. Big love to you all and uh, have a passionate day.